Someone asked me the other day if I believed in uh, curses, hexes, Robert the doll, and things like that. Before I get started, I just want to tell you that Robert, also known as Robert the doll, or Robert the enchanted doll, or Robert the haunted doll, is a doll that was owned by Key West painter and author Robert Eugene Otto. The doll is said to be possessed by evil spirits and has a terrifying reputation and has become the focus of an urban legend. I want to put that out there one more time. Listen to the Michael Myers fanatic when he speaks. An urban legend. That means it could be true or maybe it's not true. There's nothing saying it definitely is true. According to the legend of Robert the Doll, this little boy named Robert Eugene Otto, or Otto, or however you say his name, lived in some mansion in Florida. And this Bohemian lady worked for his family. They allegedly caught her practicing black magic in the backyard, and they fired her. So she became very upset, naturally so, and she put a curse on a doll and gave it to the boy. She put some kind of black magic trinkets inside the doll, and the doll allegedly began to take on a life of its own. It was allegedly moving around and speaking and breaking things and getting into all kinds of mischief. Every time something bad happened, the boy always said, Robert did it. It was Robert the doll. Do I believe in Robert the doll? I just have to come on out and tell you, no. Do I think Robert the doll actually did things? No. Do I believe in curses? It depends on what the story is. If you ask me about certain curses, yes, I do believe in it. If you were to ask me about the Kennedys, yes. Bruce Lee's family, yes. The curse of Robert the Doll, no. No, I don't. I think curses are real, but I also think that a lot of times we can curse ourselves. And if we put negative energy on our own selves and we surround ourselves with negative thoughts and negative feelings that energy can bring something to life so if there really is a curse of Robert the doll it was something manufactured by that little boy he invented the curse he's the curse that's what I think and then they got these things that say, well, if you take a picture of Robert without his permission, he'll curse you. Well, someone already took a picture of him. And guess what happened to them? Nothing. They say, the only way you know that Robert is pleased with you is if he nods in approval when you politely ask him, can I take a picture of you? I'm not going to ask a doll made of straw and buttons for eyes can I take a picture of him do you hear how ridiculous that sounds if I want to take a picture of Robert the doll I'll simply go to Key West Florida and take a picture of Robert the doll and that's it and then I'll bring it back and say hey look I took a picture of Robert the doll that's it I'm not gonna ask a doll can I do that? It's ludicrous. It's asinine. Ridiculous. Do I need to say any more words? So to answer your question and you know who you are, no, I don't believe in the curse of Robert the Doll. Never have, never will. The only reason that I, 
the Michael Myers fanatic and wasting my time with this is because it's an interesting story and everyone who knows the Michael Myers fanatic knows that he's a sucker for legends he's a sucker for interesting stories but that's all this is a legend and an interesting story that's it maybe the child was mentally ill I don't know I feel sorry for him I used to talk to my dog when I was a little kid I used to do that but guess what I grew up he grew up and he was still talking to the doll the doll never killed anybody it never did anything like that I never heard anything else about that so thank you for asking me I'm honored that you asked me but no no I don't believe in Robert the doll and just one side note if you're ever in Key West Florida and you find yourself alone in the museum at night be afraid be very afraid because the curse of Robert the doll could be inflicted upon you however if the Michael Myers fanatic was in the museum in Florida alone at night and that little son of a bitch tried to make a move on me then my foot would put a curse on his candy ass thank you for listening and as always I approve this message